Good morning, Gettysburg. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Jared Herr. And I'm Yanni Tasso. And today, we have a special edition of the Warrior Wire. And uh, now, Yanni, this is not our normal Friday afternoon time slot. And the reason for that is that today is the final day that Mr. Blanchard will be serving us here as a principal of Gettysburg High School. It is, uh, it's quite crazy, honestly. Ten years have yes. flown by just like that. Yeah. And I think we have some teachers, you know, who have thought about, you know, his actions, what he's done mm -hmm. in the past ten years. Let's take yeah. a look at that video. Thank you for everything you've done for the World Languages Department and for all of your support. Auf Wiedersehen, Mark. Wale, si wale, swaleo. Carpe diem. Mr. Blanchard, on behalf of Gaysburg JFTC, we want to thank you for your continuous support of our program. I'd also like to give a special thanks for you coming down to Washington, D.C. and supporting us at Nationals. Go, Go Gaysburg! PCV! Bonjour, Monsieur Blanchard. Uh, it's been a pleasure working with you during my short tenure here. I'd like to thank you very much for uh, just everything, for your sense of professionalism and how you model that for the kids and especially for us young professionals. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, bon voyage. Good luck, Mr. Blanchard. We'll miss you. Muchas gracias por todo tu apoyo. Te deseamos todo la suerte. Porra, porra, porra. Porra. Chiquiti bunda, la bim bomba. Chiquiti bunda, la bim bomba. A la bio. A la bio. A la bao. A la bao. A la bim bomba. A la bim bomba. Mark. 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 Ra, ra, ra. Ra, ra, ra. Buena suerte. Thinking back to one of the first conversations I had with Mark it was one Friday afternoon he was seeking advice on what well, wasn't printing. It wasn't the yearbook. It wasn't framing a house. It certainly wasn't hardwood or principles of flight. No, it was his crapper. His toilet was leaking at home and he wanted to know if he should tackle the repair or contact a more skilled and qualified individual. Knowing little about Mark's skill level with tools or plumbing, I handed him a new wax ring and told him it would be easy. Later that day, I wondered if I had set up my new principal for a real crappy situation that he might later hold against me. Well, the next week, he joyously recounted the tale of how he successfully pulled the toilet and replaced his old wax ring. I knew that if he was willing to tackle a sweet-smelling job like that, he was our honey dipper. Since that time, you have helped develop and implement tons of crap that is not BS to help prepare students for a world of opportunities. Thank you for all you've done for us here at Gettysburg High School. Should we say that we miss him? <laughs> mm. Do we miss him? We'll miss you. We're going to miss you at least a little bit. Um, there, there's a lot of love. We're trying to hold back the tears. Um, you've meant a lot to both of us over the course of time. Me a little bit longer than her, but uh, a whole lot of love in general. Absolutely. Um, we will miss you. You taught us a lot. But the biggest news is, and I know you're going to be disappointed, we did disappointed. decide to go ahead with the tattoos. We, we got tattoos without you because you're leaving. So out with the triangle, hello to the line segment. <laughs> what do you think of that, buddy? Have fun at Cumberland Valley. Miss you. We'll miss you. Go Warriors. Warrior what? An emotional video, you know, yeah. highlights the 10 years. It's crazy how fast, you know, that that flew by. But it's nice to see that people are honoring what he's done yep. and everything that he's done for the school. Yep, it was good to see, you know, a wide range of faculty, different departments, you know, the foreign language department, tech ed, um, different organizations too, seeing, you know, the, the wide effect that Mr. Blanchard's uh, principal, uh, serving as principal here, really affected um, so many members of the school. Right, and I believe, Along with the teacher submission yes. video, we had our field reporter, Cameron Bishop, yep. on the scene who went we did. out. And he also got some thoughts and feelings of the students of the school. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at that, Gettysburg. I'm here with Quake Abaye. What are you going to miss the most about Mr. Blanchard? I'm going to miss the most about Mr. Blanchard is 
how he always brought the school together and brought school spirit back to Gettysburg. I'm here with Kellen Fees. What are you going to miss the most about Mr. Blanchard? Uh, probably his hair. I'm here with Cody Howard. What are you going to miss the most about Mr. Blanchard? The dancing at homecoming. I'm here with Tess. What are you going to miss the most about Mr. Blanchard? How he attends everyone's sporting events no matter what, if we win or lose. I'm here with Paige. What are you going to miss the most about Mr. Blanchard? His dedicated engagement with the students. I'm here with Michael Fortney. What are you going to miss the most about Mr. Blanchard? Uh, eating his pizza in the student section. I'm running out of pizza. I'm here with Emily Hartley. What are you going to most miss the most about Mr. Blanchard? Candy at football games. I'm here with Soren. What are you going to miss the most about Mr. Blanchard? His voice on the morning announcements. I'm here with John Halvern. What are you going to miss the most about Mr. Blanchard? How engaged he is with the student body. I'm here with Savannah. What are you going to miss the most about Mr. Blanchard? He was always nice and friendly to me at the football games. I'm here with Connor Wagner. What are you going to miss the most about Mr. Blanchard? Uh, his friendly smile. <laughs> Wow. It was, you know, Cameron Bishop, great man in the field. Always. Glad to have him on the team and always uh, kind of gets to the, the, the core of what students are really thinking and, and always good to see, uh, you know, what the students' perspective was um, on Mr. Blanchard and kind of highlighting some of those things from the students' perspective that they'll miss most. Right. And, you know, so we've got, we've got the aspect from the teachers, the organizations, yes. everyone, you know, the older superiors. We've gotten the views from the younger generation of the school, mm -hmm. all the students. You know, there's only one person left to really speak upon the topic, and I believe that's Mr. Blanchard himself. Am I correct in saying that you and Benita, yes. correct, they had a, a special sit-down interview with mm -hmm. a really emotional video, to say the least. Yep. Am I right? You want to speak on yep. that? So uh, a couple days ago, um, when we realized we were putting together this episode, um, to give Mr. Blanchard a send-off, we had reached out to him um, to ask him to come in for a sit-down interview, and uh, our director, Benita, and myself, um, got to sit down with him and talk to him about his 10 years he spent here at Gettysburg. Let's take a look. So Benita and I are here for a very special interview with our principal here at Gettysburg, Mr. Blanchard. Let's bring him in now. Mr. Blanchard, thank you very much. Hi, Jared. Hi, Hi thanks Benita. for coming. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for having me. All right, Mr. Blanchard, thank you very much for coming to the show. Let's get things started. Um, what would you say are some of the favorite things that, favorite memories that you've had um, while being principal here at Gettysburg? The, the best part of the job is to be at those places and, and those times, those events where students have the opportunity to showcase mm -hmm. uh, the great things that they're doing. As administrators and as teachers, uh, sometimes that, the, the grind of the day, uh, it wears on us too. And we, we look forward to those opportunities to, uh, to showcase. And I just can't count the number of times over the last 10 years where I've just been so excited uh, at what we're seeing the, the students do and the, uh, the things that they're, they're producing. Don't mean to be a tear jerker or anything. I know this is a tough question for me to even think about, but uh, what do you think you're going to miss most about Gettysburg? Uh, yeah, there, I've been asked that a few times, and um, I've been a principal for 13 years, and there are some parts of the job that are a little fatiguing, mm -hmm. and uh, I... After 13 years, like ah, there's parts of the job I'm not going to miss, uh, but I'm definitely going to miss the people. The most important thing that a leader can do is develop trust and relationship, and uh, that's, that's what's going to be a challenge uh, for me as I leave to, to think about those relationships, uh, but then also the students. And to be honest, I wasn't always the best at this. Uh, this wasn't, hasn't always been a strength of mine. Um, in developing those relationships, but especially over the last three or four years, just become more aware of how important that is, and uh, and and I've enjoyed that. Uh, I've been here. I've been in a couple different high schools. I, I was a teacher at Central Dolphin High School and an administrator at Cumberland Valley before I came down here. And I've known a lot of, of high school students over the last tw uh, 21 years. And uh, for sure, the students here at Gettysburg are at the, at the top of that list. You kind of speak about 
Gettysburg students and staff having that sort of energy that really kind of elevates not just a regular day at school, but also, you know, when we do things like Friday morning lights, when we do things like pep rallies and that kind of stuff, what do you think um, is special about Gettysburg that helps to bring that energy? You really have to provide meaningful opportunities and experiences for students. You can't manufacture school spirit. You can't create uh, a good school culture out of nothing. So part of what we have to do to create that energy and that vibe is to make sure that our students have great opportunities, that there's a variety of opportunities, that when they're engaged with something that they can count on the fact that that's going to be done with excellence. The, when you walked into that football game with like handfuls of pizza, like it just made it such a better atmosphere and like really hyped us up more than I think we would have been without that, that for me. I stand down there because I just, I love the banter. I love talking with the, with the kids in, this, in the bleachers and um, taking the pictures and putting them on Twitter and things like that. And it was the middle of the second quarter and I was just sitting there, you know, these are good kids. This is, this is a good place to be. If you had told me when I was 15 years old that this is where I would be in my 40s, standing here, that this would be my job, that I'm standing on a Friday night at a football game, surrounded by a great bunch of kids, having a good time, yeah, I'd sign up for that. And I just thought, you know, what, is there something that I can do to just share that a little bit that would just be fun, just something fun to do? And I just thought, why not get ten pizzas? Pizza uh, that would is probably the way. that's kind of the universal, any teenager's heart, yeah, universal language, right? <laughs> As you continue, continue your journey. Um, what do you think that is something that Gettysburg has helped you learn so that you can take forth into your your next endeavor? The, the greatest lesson for me that I'll take from here is. Um, how important it is to have those relationships with students mm -hmm. uh, and to remember why we're working uh, to build those systems uh, that, that benefit. That, uh, that's great to say in abstract mm -hmm. that we have all of these opportunities, but what makes it special is when you're actually sitting across from, from students who are benefiting from that and seeing how that's really impacting them. But more than that, actually just having those conversations in the cafeteria, the hallways, where you really see the product of what you're doing and, and having those relationships. And uh, that's, that's the biggest takeaway from, from me is that uh, I've had that opportunity here. The students at Gettysburg have shown me that. Well, thank, thank you. you, Mr. Blanchard, very yeah, much for thanks, coming down Jared. to our show. Yeah, thanks. Um, and thanks, for Benita. everything that you've done over the past 10 years, you know, you've really um, kind of made a difference. I know in my, my high school experience, and I've seen that difference, and I speak on behalf of the entire student body. Um, from the bottom of our hearts, thank you very much for everything you've done. And uh, the school is really going to miss you, but um, we wish you the best of luck. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. All right. Wow. <laughs> Emotional, to say the least. It really was. That was a good interview by you and Benita. Well, oh, thank you. I think you thank really, you. you know, capped on the emotion that the man has felt through the school. And I know he's thinking, as the 10 years have went by, they've flown by. And as it a really senior are. in high school, I, I can relate to that. As someone who was a freshman, now I'm a senior, and I don't, I don't know where those last four years went. Gone in the blink of an eye. Yeah, and I, I mean, I remember walking in, uh, eighth grade orientation, you know, not knowing anything about the high school and getting introduced to this building and everything it had to offer by Mr. Blanchard, not knowing him at all. And now, looking back, it's kind of crazy at how over in just four years we've gotten to know him so well. And um, really, he's become a huge part of our high school lives. So, uh, Mr. Blanchard, on behalf of everyone, we just want to thank you for all that you have done um, to help make Gettysburg Area High School the great place that it is. Thank you so much, Mr. Blanchard. Good luck with everything in your life. All right, so um, Yanni, I believe that's all we have for this special edition of the Warrior Wire. So signing off, I'm Jared Hur. And I'm Yanni Tasso. We'll see you next time, Gettysburg.